In this video, we're going to be learning about our 2, 5, and 10 times table. It's without any doubt that if you don't know your tables, it can be one of the biggest barriers to learning maths later in education. I'm going to go through three ways that you can learn your tables. One is through a diagram called a Waldorf multiplication flower. If I'm learning my 2 times table, we place a 2 in the center and the numbers 1 to 12 on the inner circle of petals. Reciting tables is one of the nicest ways of it actually going into long-term memory. So let's begin by 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 8 is 16, 2 times 9 is 18, 2 times 10 is 20, 2 times 11 is 22, 2 times 12 is 24. Now knowing your multiplication facts is great, but knowing the inverse is equally important. So if I know that 2 times 3 is 6, I also know that 6 divided by 3 is 2, or 6 divided by 2 is 3. Make sure that when you're reciting, you do both the forward problem and the backwards one as well. The Waldorf multiplication flower is one strategy for you learning times tables. The multiplication grid is as well. You can fill in your multiplication grid in a similar way to what we did with the Waldorf multiplication flower. 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 2 is 6. And the process carries on. Here I've now finished my multiplication grid. Now head to masswhiteboard.com forward slash tt space cards.pdf and you'll be able to download a set of free flashcards. The flashcards are great because it will enable you to rehearse all of your times tables with ease. Print out the first document and on the back of each of those cards, then print out the answers as an easy way of checking.